Hi, Toby Hodges from Yachting World. We're on the new Do 437. big yellow Jenica up and yeah this is a boat that's all about easy sailing so this replaces the popular 360 to, for do 4 and um, the confusing part is that this is called the do 437 but it's smaller in length than the 360 it's actually only 35 with the bow sprit so 33 on deck or even 30 on the waterline but what it is really interesting to look at is how much extra space you get throughout so that's modern hull shape um, gives you especially around in the bow and we'll see that down below but also here in this big cockpit um, and yeah easy sailing 20 years of Umberto Felci design he's a master at the single rudder boat and yeah it's a fun easy boat to sail well, let's have a look through it so do for basically Going through the process of completely renewing their range since Fontaine Pajot bought them. And as I say, this one replacing the 360, which they've built nearly 400 of in the last five or six years. But from this angle here, you can see really, you know, the, the beam you get, um, the space that provides, and also up on the foredeck here. Look how voluminous that bow is. Uh, so a nice yeah, volume throughout and the other thing do for doing now is offering their boats basically in three different versions on deck easy ocean and performance now this is the ocean version the most popular which basically means it has four winches two on the coach roof and two further aft the easy version which just have the two inches uh, and a self-tacking jib. You see here we've got um, the furled away Genoa at the moment, but that is sheeted just to these simple 2D blocks basically. So that means you can adjust them on the cascade system from aft in the cockpit and no weighty longitudinal rails needed uh, to adjust the, the fore and aft sheeting angle. So that works well and um, yeah, nice and lightweight and simple. Otherwise, yeah, it's uh, yeah, big four deck area. So they have these inflatable cushions now that they use uh, as a sun deck area. Um, yeah, not even a sail locker up there, just the windlass and a bow roller containing the anchor itself. So maximize that area for, for relaxing when at anchor flat coach roof as, as D4 like to do and then you see the German lead main sheet so the, that means that the main sheet is on this bridle system which runs forward on the boom and then back each side uh, to clutches and winches aft low coach roof but it does have a long handrail on it and uh, yeah the maximizing cockpit space so the the wheels are right aft which feels fairly compact when you're on the helm but as Mariner's showing there it's quite a comfortable position I think especially to leeward and there's room enough to get either over obviously the coach roof combings or, or to come back behind although it's quite a little bit tight right back here in the aft quarters but yeah for a essentially a 34 35 foot boat that's a lot of deck space and cockpit room not that you'd use it sailing along like this but <laughs> this is a, a very popular option that do four fit on all their models now um, having the plancher grill area and that means you just these bench seats lift up each side 
you drop the uh, swimming platform down on this um, cascade here and then you can stand there and barbecue your freshly caught fish or whatever off the aft deck really extends this cockpit area the other thing to note with the performance version mainsail area is the boom is longer and mainsail area is 15 percent bigger so you get uh, a single point from the from the main sheet here for the German so yeah just basically a bit more sail power and this also has compared to the 360 an increased amount of sail area as well so a bit more power and performance performance version cockpit stays like this but you just have a single point for the main sheet which is still German led back to these winches uh, and a thinner table as well nice thing about this having these primary winches here is that you use them as the German sheet or for the or for the Genoa sheet uh, and they're easy to reach from the helm or to let off so under the starboard helm is access into the quarter locker here so this one's got a heater on the bulkhead and yeah otherwise stowage space and to port is the gas locker so here we are with the swim platform down so I can dive off the room for the life raft stowage underneath the grill area here as well I don't think I am going to dive off There's some big jellyfish around You have the standard bench cockpit locker in here and a good thick sturdy table with a bit of stowage in it as well so but that's your main deck locker stowage space so this is a six and a half ton boat 1.85 of that is in the keel and uh, it has yeah tank capacity 180 litres water 160 fuel and say the sail air has been increased so um, 55 square meter of sail it says so this is what I mean as you come below you know bear in mind again this is really a 34 35 foot yacht but offered as a proper three-in-one or two-in-one layout with a, a proper owner's cabin. And I guess that's really where modern hull shape, what, what it buys you. So this, as you see with these double doors here, opening it out, headroom should reduce, but it, well, it does reduce, but you keep it here. So you've still got with this hatch here, obviously plenty of light, but that gives six foot five five eleven yeah probably six foot headroom just here so you can stand with that bang in your head close the doors get changed you get a wardrobe both sides plenty of space uh, and in the berth itself with the optional infill cushions on the side smartly done There's plenty of light and you can see the volume you get through through the yacht itself otherwise it's i think it's quite simple um quite a simple approachable nice easy design um do for say that you know the performance is the least uh popular version now this is the most popular having uh, a yacht that's well set up to, to sail easily uh, and for cruising it's all about cruising and it's it's fairly comfortable as well and they seem to have done a nice job with the finish of it good size saloon and you can have a sleepable berth here to port as well rather than the, the, the saloon table stays as it is but what they do is like the deck cushions they have uh, an inflatable part uh, which infills here so you can have uh, a large single or, or small double I guess um, in this area here but yeah you get a good sized table you can easily sit eight around here and otherwise we have stowage beneath which will be valuable because these um, yeah the bilge itself is very shallow so enough though the forks and wine bottle stowage further aft yeah 
and obviously it's maximized space in the saloon so no nav station but just your switchboard here good views lots of natural light and ventilation another thing to point out here is it's got the beneath the table so you have the stool here which can pull out has some storage below it but pull out so you can stick it at either end of the table to sit another around there and then in terms of layout yeah you you have these identical double cabins aft one we've got fuller gear at the moment um, or you can choose to have just the two cabins so you have that one and you can have a, a larger heads well, a shower compartment area and, and stowage further aft as it is compact heads uh, with a shower which is in the sink area itself and plugs in up here now this side a bit full of bags at the moment but you can see is a good size double there and mirrored here no whole windows but uh, a good port light there too uh, and some ventilation above as well that's a good size double really again for the size boat a nice curved hull side liner there so you can sit up here read your book with a reading light here uh, or on the other side yeah plenty of space in here a lot of volume in this boat and then like the starboard cabin as well you have a wardrobe split into a uh, cupboard on the aft end of it and below is tank and small access ports there and there into the engine with them. and then conventional engine access under the companionway steps so this has the uprated 30 horsepower Volvo it's uh, 18 horsepower standard there's long coach roof windows giving good natural light down here no frills l-shaped galley stowage in raised lockers in cuddy holes behind and a little bit of work surface using the, the fridge top as well and a small double sink So base price for this D437 is 165,000 euros ex-VAT. Not really a realistic figure. I mean, that's as a sail away boat, that's 185 equipped. What we're on now with the upgraded sails, the Genoa uh, engine, bow thruster, that sort of thing. This boat is 260,000 euros ex-VAT. Hope you enjoyed the tour. See you next time. Bye.